Hello, I'm Dominic and uh, welcome to the whiskey shop in Norwich. So how do we taste whiskey? Well, there's a big debate about whether we should add water or not to it. Uh, it's a personal choice. If you want to, then please do. If you don't, you don't. But a little bit of water will release a lot of the aromas. And when we talk about nosing whiskey, um, it's actually because we want the aromas. We, 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 we're interested in the smell of it. So uh, this is a Lafroy quarter cask, uh, which I poured earlier. Um, it's 48%, so it's quite strong. And so um, the best way to taste it is to start, approach it like you would a, a wild animal, an animal you don't know very well. Uh, it's, you're not sure how it's going to react to you and it doesn't know how you're going to react, react to it. So approach it very, very slowly and gently and uh, get to a point where you start getting to the aroma to your nose. If you go too quickly into a whiskey at 48%, it, your nose will batten down the hatches, it's, it'll just stop and you won't be able to taste for an hour. So um, the, the, the thing is, take it very gradually and get comfortable with it. And just try and see what you can smell. And you may not be able to smell very much, but uh, it really is a case of uh, practice makes perfect, and so uh, it's a great excuse to keep trying. And when you're comfortable with that, just t take a tiny bit on the end of your tongue, just a little bit, it's 48% alcohol, you don't want to take too much. And swirl that around a bit, make, make sure you're comfortable with it, see what you taste. And then at this point, if you want to add water, then do. And add a few drops, and I mean a few drops, you can always take put water in but you can't take it out so you, what you need to do is to add a little bit and even a few drops will release the aromas. With very old whiskey that's all you'll do, they may even give you a pipette to add it because water can break down the structure of the whiskey and then destroy it so you've got to be very careful. Keep adding water to your whiskey until you get to a level you're comfortable with. Uh, there's mixed views about water and whiskey. Uh, professional blenders will take it down to 20% of the whiskey so they add a lot of water. You may be comfortable with far less. For me, 48% is great because I like my whiskey around 40 to 43% so I can add some water and get a level I'm comfortable with. When you reach a level you're happy with and it tastes nice to you, then that's the bit, the bit you do best, is the next bit. You take a whole mouthful. And you swill it all over your mouth. It's got to go everywhere in your mouth. Um, and then if you want, you can spit it. Um, again, there's a mixed view about this. Uh, there are people in the industry that spit, um, others say you should swallow. My view is very simple, it's a drink, and the clue's in the word drink. Um, the other thing is that um, we talk about finish with a whiskey. If you don't finish it, how can you finish it? So it's like going to the cinema and leaving with 15 minutes to go. You need to uh, have that experience to get, the, uh, to, to get the, the end of it. So yes, if you're trying to taste 20 whiskies in an evening, you're not going to do it by swallowing. It's not going to happen. But let's face it, not many of us do that. We're having fun. We may be only having two or three. So you swallow it and that burning or the, or, or the warming sensation you get as the whiskey goes down and the aftertaste is all part of the experience. And from there, it's just a case of enjoying it. That's it. And uh, with this one, I'm getting a long, peaty, beautiful... I'm very, very tempted to reach the glass again. Not going to because I'm a professional. But that's whiskey tasting. Cheers.